He right over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Let's hit a branch, dude. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey guys. In front of my WR 250 fucking R, baby. On oh, some twisty action. Love this bike on the twisties, man. Fucking awesome. But anyways, guys. The Honda CBR, excuse me, the Honda CB1000R. Listen here, man. Honda needs to update that bitch already. That bike has been out forever, man. Mainly in Europe, and then they brought it over here. But they haven't really changed much. It has no, uh, it's so heavy compared to, uh, like, the BMW s 1000 uh, R. It's at uh, 180, what is it, excuse me, uh, 487 pounds or something like that. As whereas the BMW S1000R is at uh, like 456 pounds. The CB1000R is only has like 125 horsepower, freaking 73 foot pounds of torque. The S1000R whoops it at five, like 156 horsepower, 83 foot pounds of torque, better in every way. S1000R has got the creature conference of uh, cruise control, heated grips. It looks awesome. The one thing that the CBR900, uh, excuse me, I keep wanting to say 900. The so CB1000R has a single-sided swing arm, which is really awesome with that bike. It's a beautiful bike. But there's really nothing that's spectacular about that, that super naked the damn bike only weighs uh, I mean it's not only kind of a pig at 487 pounds is that it has the old uh, 2007 CBR 1000 double R engine in it and uh, it there's nothing really special about it besides it looking cool and having a single uh, sided swing arm Oh, I love this bike, man. I tell you guys, lightweight bikes are where it's at, man. That's why I love this bike. So it's, it's so it feels like a bicycle, a fast bicycle, because it's so thin and narrow. You can throw it around. Love this bike, man. But Honda, update the CB1000R. Bike is old as fuck now. I'll tell you guys that, as you guys know, I'm actively looking for a, a, a super naked bike, or possibly, I don't know, man. Because at the end of the day, when I, you know, when I sit down and think about it, I'm like, why the fuck would I get rid of my CBR 1000R? It does everything that I wanted to, but I just want something new. I'm just the type of person, every couple of years or something, I just want, I feel like I want something new, want to try something different. And, uh... And I've gotten accustomed to this uh, WR250R's upright seating position. It feels really good and comfortable. So it'd be nice to have that super sport power and have the, the comfort. The only thing is I can't ride that baby off-road like I can with this bike. Head right over here. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit! Let's hit a branch, dude. <laughs> we get back on the road. Fucking around, man. But, um... Yeah, a lot of you guys ask me, Psycho Cruiser, why didn't you get the CB1000R? Like, dude, like, who even has that bike? I never see that bike out here, man. Um, and not to say that it's not a fantastic bike, but it's just... Like I said, with Honda bikes... There's nothing that just gets your dick hard, you know, nothing to get you really excited. Uh, it's it's the Honda Africa Twin. I mean, the old dudes get excited by that bike, <laughs> but it's too damn heavy. Give us a lightweight, powerful uh, uh, dual sport 
that has freaking low maintenance, which seems nearly impossible, do something like KTM did with the 690 Enduro R. Put that in a Japanese form somehow. Uh, or give us a WR450, take the WR450F and change that to a, a, a dual sport, low maintenance dual sport, like the WR250R, but give us that extra power. Hey, kid must <laughs> give me the thumbs up there. But, um, I don't know, guys. I tell you guys, I have more wet dreams about dirt bikes and dual sports than I do super sports, uh, super bikes, any of the street bikes any these days, man. It's like, I, I just love off-road and being able to ride both road and off-road any freaking time I want to. And, uh, I mean, this, this sucker's only got close to 30 horsepower on it. And I love it. So, drop the weight. That would be the number one issue, uh, number one Thing that I'd like to see change on that CB 1000 R reduce the weight, get it down to sub 450, at least 450, and put some bells and whistles on it. Uh, but mainly the weight. I mean, if they if they had that bike sitting at 450 or less, I probably would have bought that bike by now. But I just I'm not a fan of heavy bikes, and it's not really a heavy bike. You know, it's below 500 pounds, but believe me, you can feel that extra weight when you throw it around. Like, this bike feels like nothing. It feels like a bicycle, man. It feels awesome. You know, when you have a really lightweight bike, it just makes you feel like one with the bike. Like, you're just connected to the bike, you know? Um, it's just, it's like I said, I equate motorcycles to women. You know, a lot of us like a thin woman. <laughs> but there are some people out there that like a big a big ass woman a big greasy woman for them cook them dinner you know they can be fat and happy together so there's ain't nothing there's nothing wrong with that i'm not making fun of fat people at all you know some of you guys make fun of skinny people I, hey whatever but i uh I like actually like a woman with a little meat on her, to be honest with you. But like I said, when it comes to motorcycles, I like skinny. Give me a skinny motorcycle, a skinny motorcycle. Thin in the waist, pretty in the face. <laughs> hey, look, a bobber. Hey, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized in a various playlist. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, take care. And we'll see you in the next Moto Vlog. Check out my other channel, Cycle Cruiser Moto Vlogs. Where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.